What's up, guys? Joel Benavides with the Block Squawk Podcast, and I am coming to you um, 20 minutes after midnight on uh, now the 11th. Uh, so this one is um, Block Squawk 49, guys. is going to be for May the 11th, 2019. Uh, and like I said, it's uh, just about 20 minutes past midnight, and we're going to do a, hopefully a quick squawk and uh, and see if we can push out any information. I apologize for my hair. I got confetti in my hair. We were uh, throwing around some old cascarones. Um, that's uh, like a confetti-filled egg left over from, uh, from, what's that holiday? Easter. So, uh, so that's what we're gonna do. Uh, let's take a let's take a look at um, the heat map, and uh, we can see that uh, Bitcoin is uh, is up seven point three one percent on the day on the twenty four hour period, and uh, and it's looking good. Um, and we'll take uh, a further look at the chart. Uh, it is a little bit checkered. There's a lot of uh, red in Ethereum tokens, uh, but that's just kind of goes with the territory as we will see. Um, everything else is is uh, fairly bullish. Um, Stellar Lumens is up, XLM and uh, XMR uh, Monero is also up. And so, uh, so pretty good um, and uh, that's gonna do it for the heat map let's move on real quick I just want to go over some of the news stories because uh, there is some uh, some stuff going on so uh, you today about an hour ago just put out uh, a Binance price prediction and uh, and they, they ask is it the bottom or not that it plummeted below 20 bucks um, also from you today, a couple hours ago, uh, they also pushed out a, a, a Litecoin price prediction. Um, Vitalik, three hours ago from CCN.com, uh, eyes research on privacy coin Monero's traceability. Um, so, uh, you know, if uh, Vitalik is, is looking at, at Monero's traceability, um, I kind of want to pay attention to that. I'll, I'll probably end up coming back after the stream is over and, and look at that because uh, uh, I, I mean that really gives. It's one of the reasons why Monero is where it is on the on the top twenty uh, because I think it's at thirteen or something like that. Uh, lucky number thirteen, right? Um, it's uh, it's the privacy coin. It's the dark web coin. You know, it's where you. Uh, where you're gonna order your uh, your your stuff? Uh, I'll leave that there. <laughs> um, but yeah, Monero is kind of taking up uh, the uh, flagship position. For those of you who aren't familiar, uh, many cryptocurrencies are good for uh, different reasons or or whatnot, and Monero kind of has wears the hat as being the privacy coin. Um, uh, Dash, I think, also has some functionality. They used to be called Dark Coin. Uh, personally, I think I don't think they ever should have changed it. Uh, I liked Dark Coin. You know, it was kind of like a, from a marketing perspective, anyway. Uh, maybe they were trying to go for a cleaner look. I don't know, but um, I think it's um, it was a better idea. Anyway, moving on. Three hours ago from uh, Oh Hey Maddie. Uh, she put out a pre-consensus live stream, um, and uh, and so those are just some of the stories. I was kind of hopping around on here. Uh, they were talking about uh, lobbying and education in New York from Coin Telegraph. Ethereum Foundation announces annual funding, next DevCon location, etc. Um, and uh, NewsBTC.com was asking it was time to short. Uh, with uh, respect to Bitcoin's recent uh, parabola broken um, and uh, and just some, some different stuff. So that's what's going on right now. Uh, in terms of trending stories, um, uh, that, that story that I mentioned from newsbtc.com about uh, Bitcoin's parabola, that's, that's on there too. That's trending. Uh, nine hours ago, uh, ccn.com, uh, calls Bitcoin amazing. Bitcoin is 2019's top performing asset, outpacing stocks and oil. 
Well, yeah, it's uh, uh, validating to hear that, uh, but nobody here uh, I would expect is, is surprised. Uh, we all knew this was coming, guys, just because uh, we understand Bitcoin, we understand the technology, uh, the the um, the deflationary nature uh, of. I mean, you can never make any more. Um, and so uh, it's it's just you know it's a it's a rare digital asset, and so for those of us who understand, you know that doesn't come as a surprise. Um, and if you ever have like uh, any questions, uh, I'm not the uh, the blockchain technology guru by any stretch of the imagination, uh, but uh, you know I I have some understanding of it and i'd be happy to discuss that with any of you guys uh so if you ever want to reach out to me on uh, uh on twitter that was really the best way to reach out to me i'm at joel benavides j-o-e-l-b-e-n-a-b-i-d-e-z and you can also uh reach out to me over email joel dot benavides at gmail.com and uh, I'll, I'll provide that information again but yeah i'm always happy to uh to talk shop uh, with anybody wanting to talk shop or you know even if you're new to the thing you know uh, let's see uh, BAT oh yeah there was a lot of news earlier about BAT uh, sees enormous price growth uh, can it get to 40 cents soon so maybe we'll take a look at BAT BAT and Binance um, I always say that I'm gonna take a look at some of these coins uh, during the news portion of the stream and I, I never do. Um, so I'm going to try and try and remember that. I need to get better at that. In fact, I need to keep a freaking sticky pad around here to do these kinds of things. Um, so uh, just so some of the some those were some of the stories trending right now, guys. Um, I wanted to briefly highlight uh, this list. This is one of my lists on Bitcoin. So. Real briefly, and and this process, this this uh, listing process on Twitter, I'm I'm always growing it. I'm always adding to it. But basically, uh, if you've been in the trading space, uh, not the crypto space necessarily, but in the trading space, you understand that um, you're probably familiar with several of the of the podcasts that are available there are a lot of really good interview based podcasts out there I mean, there's a lot of podcasts anyway but uh really good interview based uh podcasts that are great for free education um if you're interested in trading markets traditional markets or what have you i would i would really recommend uh firstly chat with traders uh is probably one of the best known and then also, I like two blokes trading. There's a there's a few of them out there. Those are just two of them. Uh, but you can get on there and listen to some of the best traders in the world, literally spill their guts about what they know about the market. And uh, if you listen to it long enough, over and over and over again, you start building a picture. So, uh, a lot of these guys uh, will um, talk about how they they uh, achieved success and uh and there are a few things that come up over and over and over again and so uh it's really really valuable i i i mention all that uh just to kind of preface um my my list so initially i started out with uh this list over here top traders right and you can see there's 246 members uh, uh, meaning 246 traders that I uh, gleaned off of those podcasts, right? And um, and, and eventually I, I went through that list and I said, well, let me find out all of the traders and organizations on this list that uh, are involved in crypto, Right. And so I en ended up with Top Crypto Traders, which has 66 members. Now, these lists, guys, are by no way comprehensive, uh, but but there is some good information on it. So I, I got those guys and I was using Top Crypto Traders for a while, but I realized that if I want 
uh, exclusive crypto information. A lot of these guys are trading different stuff throughout the day. Uh, they're retweeting other traders who are trading different stuff. So it's really kind of like a, like a like a checkered look you know, with uh, with crypto being somewhat featured. But I said, okay, well, let me see if I can whittle down this further to uh, find the traders within this list that are trading, or at least not, not that they're trading crypto exclusively, but that uh, Twitter is their outlet for uh, crypto trading. So uh, finally, I ended up with this uh, short list. It's a 35 member list right now of uh, top crypto heavy traders not crypto exclusive but uh, crypto heavy and uh, so it's described as a short list of well-known twitter savvy day traders with crypto heavy exposures or stated exposures and so uh that's uh on my list the website i believe is uh twitter.com forward slash uh, joel benavides forward slash lists forward slash top crypto heavy traders uh, let me pull that up real quick and just show you guys. Well, I'll, I guess I can go back in a little bit. Yeah, but uh, just reach out to me on Twitter. I'll, I mean, I'm ha happy to link you. We have trouble finding it, but it's on my on my profile. And so uh, now that I've uh, told you guys where this list came from, and you know, a lot of these, a lot of the people on this list obviously are going to be tweeting a lot more than others. So we got uh, Luke Martin, the venture coinist in there. He's talking about uh, Bitcoin and current resistance. Uh, let's see, uh, Binance uh, Decentralized Exchange uh, retweeted a tweet from James Stewart uh, discussing DEX. And, uh, and so those are a few things. Magic, Magic Poop Cannon from TradingView. Many of you guys know, I'm sure, uh, put out a... a, a <laughs> Uh, there was a big joke yeah okay so this is a big like uh basically it's a uh, twitter twitter the twitter crypto verse was uh crazy with memes about psychobabble uh and uh and so there's a little story there if you want to uh, but i'm wasting too much time on that already so that those are just a few of the things i'm not going to go into depth here today but i did want to bring it up briefly and so uh, that's gonna do it. Let's run through a quick squawk, real quick, guys. And uh, I'm gonna be using Coin Market Cap today because uh, I was using Coin Paprika, but then I ended up like citing for like uh, two episodes. I was because it's got three uh, percentage changes in there. It's got the one hour, uh, the 24 hour, and the seven day, which I'm not used to. And so I was mixing up the one and the 24. Uh, so, um, so let's not do that. Let's stick to uh, the platform that we all know and love, uh, which is Coin Market Cap. So uh, here we have Coin Market Cap, as you can see, uh, and uh, we're gonna take a, a quick look at the top 12. So coming in at 12th by market cap is Monero XMR. Uh, it's trading at 69 and 63. That's uh, 47 million dollars worth of volume in the last 24 hours and it's up 6.63 percent i'm gonna kind of uh stumble on this one because it's the first time in a very very long while that i've used crypto or i'm sorry coin market cap so uh so bear with me here on this one guys tron coming in at 11th by market cap trading at 2.3 cents that's up 1.74 percent on the day cardano moving in the top 10 now guys cardano coming in at 10th by market cap trading at six cents uh, that's uh, up 3.69 percent on the day stellar stellar lumens xlm coming in at ninth by market cap trading at 9.5 cents up 5.83 percent on the day binance coin bnb and at eighth by market cap trading at 19 and 32 up 2.01 percent on the day uh, Tether, Tether coming in at seventh by market cap, and that of course is trading at a dollar and it's up 0.32%. EOS coming in at six by the same symbol, trading at four and 91, up 1.19% for the day. And uh, Litecoin LTC coming in at fifth by market cap, trading at 78 and 36. That's up 3.07% for the day. Bitcoin Cash, uh, BCH in at fourth, 
trading at 292 292 and 95 up 1.29 percent on the day xrp by the same symbol uh, formerly known as ripple and at third by market cap trading at 30 cents and that is up 1.54 percent on the day ethereum eth in it second by market cap trading at 176 and 91 and that's up two even percentage points in the last 24 hours lastly of course bitcoin btc in it first by market cap that market cap, guys, is hovering around 118.5 billion uh, circulating supply, still at uh, 17 million, 17.6 to be more precise. And of course, it's up 6.89% on the day. Probably hitting some resistance here. You can see the, the uh, I'm excited to see that there is some volatility developing, guys. If you want to look at uh, Bitcoin's uh, seven day uh, price graph. Uh, aside ethereum's and then just compare that to what's been going on uh in the top seven uh top eight uh or i'm sorry uh 10 to 10 to 8 looks a little bit different so there is some volatility you see things developing uh differently from coin to coin and so uh so that's exciting uh binance came out with a really good and i tweeted it earlier i'll have to retweet it again because it was such a good article binance research came out with a uh, a research paper on on how you can use different uh, different coins not, not necessarily how you can but it was it was a it was a detailed study on price behavior from coin to coin which you don't need me to tell you can be uh, incredibly helpful um and so but i think the price action was based on data from the Binance exchange, of course. So uh, here we go. Uh, we're looking at high volume exchange Bitfinex on the top and on the bottom. Uh, Ethereum against the US dollar on the top here. And uh, and Bitcoin right now, according to TradingView, uh, is trading, let's see, right at, what is this thing doing? Yeah, okay, um, well, I'll look at that in a minute. Uh, uh, Bitcoin is at 67, 17, and 8. So uh, so that's, again, like I said before, right now it's up 4.29%. And um, when we look at, um, at uh, orders, uh, we can see that there is a, a nice big fat sell wall right around 67.35. And uh, we're sitting about um, 10, 20 bucks below that. Uh, another chunky one at 67.44 and that kind of bleeds into another very chunky sell wall at uh, 67.46 approximately. So uh, a lot of sell side pressure, um, 10, 20 bucks above that. That's what uh, I think uh, Venture Coinist was talking about uh, or charting about. So it's out there guys. Um, let's take a quick look at Ethereum. And um, and the spread on Ethereum is a little bit little bit more uh, balanced in terms of sell side and buy side pressure. Um, so um, so we will certainly keep a look at that. But um, that's that's going to be it, guys. I'm really looking at Bitcoin right here in the last few hours, uh, three four hours. Um, I'm sure if I pull up the four hour candle, uh, we'll see that that's a, a pole in development. So uh, it may be, you may count it as a continuation from this pole that we got right here on the 2nd of May. Uh, and then there was just some consolidation between now and the 2nd of May. And we're just kind of filling into that. I'd be real interested to see what price action is going to do over the weekend. Um, you know, Friday is a sell day. So, uh, but th th what we saw today may just be a result of heavy buying. And actually you can see that there is some some volume, some, some buying uh, going into this. So basically uh, this could be um, a continuation pattern filling out, or we may continue to see that. So I'm going to be looking at like wick size and uh, candle formations, trends over the next couple of days just to see if we get a continuation of this trend. 
um, a further uh, consolidation, uh, possibly a flag. Uh, everybody's kind of looking at uh, retracement, short-term retracement in the near future. So we'll see. Um, that's going to do it for me, guys. I'm going to get the heck out of here. It's late. It's uh, 1241 a.m. and I got to work tomorrow. So that's going to that's gonna do it for us. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, um, constructive criticisms, whatever, uh, like I said before, reach out to me on Twitter. I'm at Joel Benavides, at J-O-E-L-B-E-N-A-V-I-D-E-Z. I'm also, uh, you can also reach out to me on uh, on Gmail too. I'm at Joel.Benavides at Gmail. Um, and uh, that's going to do it for us. Uh, Bitcoin right now, 6720 even uh and uh and that's it please remember that nothing you heard on the on the podcast slash stream slash whatever uh is to be taken as financial advice block squawk is um is uh, just here for informational and uh, educational purposes of course and uh we are listener supported as well so uh, if you want to help with the longevity um, uh, promotion improvement um, and maintenance of block block squawk you can reach out to me and head on over to anchor.fm forward slash block squawk and there's a, a link there at the top of the screen if you want to help out um, otherwise uh, it's just as helpful if you guys want to subscribe to me like uh, block squawk is of course always free and if you want to be uh, notified up to date up to the minute on uh, on that just hit that post notification bell on YouTube and Twitter and uh, and I'll be right with you guys every step of the way that's gonna do it for 49 I'm out of here guys have a great night cheers <laughs>